Hold on, so you Virgos have got the Page of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Lovers, Two of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups, uh-oh, the Eight of Wands, the King of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Four of Wands. So, a lot of you Virgos right now, okay, obviously you got the Six of Cups, someone is coming back in, right? Unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, because the Page of Pentacles represents um, you Virgos being solid with your lives. Solid, just enjoying your lives right now, right? Your life is, is very good right now. A lot of um, happiness to go around, a lot of joy, right? Which is deeper than happiness, much more long lasting. And a lot of you Virgos are, are you know, successful. You're very successful with pretty much a lot of the areas in your life, right? Everything pretty much except for love, okay? Uh, <clears throat> and the thing about it is that the, the emperor, again, it, it represents you. The emperor is about you Virgos just succeeding, being so successful with pretty much everything except for love at this current point in time. Really enjoying your, yourselves, really enjoying your life, enjoying the, the quality of the company, you know, the family, just all that type of stuff. Being single, right? Potentially, more than likely being single because for most of these, for most of these cards, right? It, most of them really have only singular people on them. So a lot of you Virgos are, are single, right? So then you have the lovers. The lovers represents in this reading, it represents self-love. So, you know, when you bring the two together, just overall, a lot of abundance, a lot of success, a lot of getting what it is that you want, right? Actually getting the things that you want just in life, just in general. And self-love is there, you know, looking after yourself. Because that's one thing that a lot of us as Virgos need to start doing way more, way more. We let ourselves fall off for other people, right? Because we allow ourselves to get caught up in what other people have got going on. And we can't do that. You know, we have to we have to learn to take certain traits from Aquarius and from Scorpio in the sense that knowing when to when knowing when to stop giving, right? Because Virgo being a giver, we can give so much. And this is part of the reason why it is that the zodiac sign of Virgo represents sadomasochism, because we could give so much. That and Pisces can give so much to the point where the person can get spoiled. The person can get deluded, right? Unfortunately, because remember, we we are opposite. What? We are opposite. Um, well, the emperor doesn't represent Aries, but excuse me, the emperor doesn't represent Pisces. But we, Poseidon represents Pisces, though. And this is Poseidon on the card. So um, other people can end up deluding themselves and get caught up into thinking that they're more important in a relationship when it when it's, it shouldn't really be who's more important and who's not it should really be the two of you working in a relationship like this and it works cohesively and the two of you give and take and, and it's reciprocal but the but the situation is is that a lot of that's part of our problem a lot of people can get gassed up off of or, or get caught up off of the amount of love that we give to them to the point where it's like, you know, now all of a sudden, you know, they don't know because these are people who don't know how to manage their self. These are people who don't know how to how to um, take the compliments and the love without inflating their ego. Right. So their ego gets inflated and now they start thinking they're better than you. That doesn't even make any sense. They're in a relationship with you, Virgos, while at the same time trying to compete with you makes no sense but a lot of you virgos need to understand that or us because i'm a virgo myself but a lot of us virgos need to understand that we got to learn to have self-love right um that and pisces right you got to get to a point where you give and then you you wait to see what the other person uh, gives in exchange. And if they don't give anything, right, this is why it is that paying attention is so important because you need to understand 
if the person you need to pay attention to if the person is even giving back to you in the first place so that you can have an understanding of when to stop giving because people will take and take and take because people are greedy like that but yet they're so stupid a lot of the times people who get caught up with this mindset they're so sometimes people can be so parasitic especially the people that we're getting to know on a romantic level they get themselves caught up and they don't even know how to give back. So the thing about it is that the Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune represents. So what's next is the Ten of Swords. And this is where it is that we end up ultimately. And these cards are very, they're hidden. The the Ten of Swords is where it is that we end up. We, we spiritually, spiritually, right? Not physically, right? But spiritually, we end up with a knife in our back. You know what I mean? We end up, or swords in our back as it may be. Where it's like we're in a situation now where we done created a monster. We, we done created a, a you know, a, a, a brat. You know what I mean? We, you know, the person was already a brat, but we gave them full permission to, to be a brat on us because we draw that nice stuff, that, that nicety and that approachability from Pisces because Pisces is real nice. But then at the same time, this is this is the situation that a lot of us Virgos need to accomplish we need to we need to regulate we need to regulate we need to understand how not to be so mean because virgo could y'all we can be a zodiac sign that could be cruel but we need to understand how to manage that when it's too nice and giving and when it's too when it's too ruthless and when we need to regulate that and how to mix it together because when we're too nice, this is how it is that we end up. We end up with knives in our back. We end up with swords in our back. Where we gave so much to the point where, you know, uh, the person, like I said, they start getting caught up and thinking that it's all them. So this is why it is that there's a need for the self-love, the lovers, the need for self-love in the first place. Because this is a person that's looking into the mirror. So it's about even loving or liking the person, love and liking, liking and love the person that you're even staring at in the mirror yourself. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. So a lot of you Virgos now, a lot of you have decided to change the narrative, change uh, the direction of where this is going. A lot of you uh, 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 Virgos are very much so quite interested around this time of changing all of that. Making things way different in the sense that now a lot of you Virgos, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you will learn to uh, when you'll learn to be more observant, or you should be. If you're not, I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. But you'll learn to be more observant in a sense that when you see people not really willing to give, you you'll give, and but you need to pay attention when people aren't showing you reciprocation. A lot of you Virgos will decide to eventually stop giving and see if they give to you. And then if they don't, then it is what it is. You're just gonna keep keep it moving forward. And then you'll let it dissolve from there, right? <clears throat> because ultimately you have to be able, a lot of you Virgos have to start looking out for number one, which is yourselves. Because if you don't, other people are not really gonna do that for you. Like I said, they'll take advantage of you. And then they'll try to, you know, push it back onto you. Like who, like what you were doing, you should have known better, right? It's, it's disgusting. But then you have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups now represents the people, obviously, y'all already know, the people from the past, the infamous Six of Cups. The people from the past coming in, trying to make it seem like... uh they're trying to talk to you again, you know, communicate with you. But see, the Eight of Wands represents the Eight of Wands and the and the King of Pentacles. Here, here you go. So these people come on in. Someone that you are getting to know. The Eight of Wands and the King of Pentacles represents. So here you, Virgos, go, right? Telling them about they self. Having a direct conversation. And here they are being cool, calm, and collected. King of Pentacles. And 
what these two cards represent is, is that ultimately, right, they're being calm about their answers. But you got to learn that, you know, you have to learn to walk away from these people, Virgo, because like I said, and, and I've said this before, you know, after a certain age, you're supposed to, you know, you're really supposed to have common sense. You know, if you, if you don't understand that the actions that you're doing can be inconsiderate, then it just goes to show you how stupid some people are and that, you know, you really shouldn't be wasting your time and that the fault is on us because we spend our time wasting our time on, on people that, that, that really even aren't really civilized. To put it to put it lightly really even aren't civilized they really don't even have home training because the eight of wands and the, and the king of pentacles represents here they are being so calm cool collected when you start trying to talk to them when some of you virgos even waste your time trying to talk to them personally you shouldn't even waste your time but here they are going to give you these calm answers right right some of them may even um you know let you give you an excuse and stuff like this some of them may even show you fake accountability but it you know maybe it may be real but at the same time are you virgos really going to go back because <clears throat> excuse me the page of wands and the four of wands now represent so and the reason why i'm asking is, be, is because of this the the page of wands and the four of wands this person is like trying to make it seem like they you know they talking to you about all this romantic stuff about how to, you know all of this you know they wish that they could be you know in hawaii maybe there's mermaids in hawaii but <laughs> uh they, they wish that they could be talking to you about you know um going to you in hawaii and and uh uh you know with you and sitting down on the shore and watching the moon come up and the moon hitting the water you know the in the waters in hawaii stuff like this and it's just something so magical about that and again here they are coming to you right trying to get you with this romantic stuff but the page of wands you got to be on your p's and q's you have to know like this person is just talking that nonsense. Here they, here they go with this nonsense, trying to butter you Virgos up. Here they go, right? It's not even real. They're trying to sweet talk their way into, into, into getting back with you again. Obviously, that's a dub. They can't even apologize. Here they go. Shake my head. Shake my head. But all right, <clears throat> so let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the um, the Six of Cups. Why do these goofy old people come back? The Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. That is stupid. But the reason why is because it, long story short, right, because we're clarifying the Six of Cups. The reason why is because they they were at home with you. They were comfortable with you. They liked you, but they're still delusional. They're still coming from the perspective of they're better than you, right? You made them feel so solid, but they're still going to, they still have, they still have the mentality of they're doing more than you. Now, I don't know how that translate. You 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 laying down with somebody, but at the same time, I'm competing with you. That is so, so stupid. That is stupid. The five of wands and the ace of pentacles, and you know, they're still not gonna reciprocate, you know, because you're trying to get them to reciprocate. Virgos don't try to control people. Nope. That's Taurus. Virgos don't try to control people. Virgos, Virgos want to have a good time. And we don't want people around us messing up that, that experience that we're having because they, they, they jealous and they envy. That's the situation. Virgos are not interested in trying to control you. We're just not. We just don't want to get 
screwed out of the deal or screwed out of what we want and not getting what it is that we want. That's the situation. Capricorn wants to have an influence, right? There's a difference. Taurus wants to have control over your mind, control over your body. Capricorn wants, uh, excuse me, Taurus wants to force your hand. It is, just, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Uh, Capricorn wants to give you a little nudge, wants to, you know, wants to be the face of the whole world, wants to be everywhere, right? Wants to be like wrestling, be the face, wants to, wants to be a household name, wants you to kind of follow a little bit in their footsteps, wants to gain, wants you to gain inspiration from them. Virgo wants to have a good time, but Virgo does not want to have a good time at the expense of having those people who are going to ruin their experience because that's what Virgo represents, experience, right? And the Five of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles represents, here they are, they're gonna, they're gonna, they know that they caused a lot of the mischief in the relationship <laughs> and here they are, they're gonna still try to cause that same mischief again because they've effectively learned nothing and they're gonna try everything again because they are not going to reciprocate to you in the way that you want. So let's clarify, let's clarify now the Four of Wands. Come on, yo. Let me flip this. There you go. So to clarify the uh, Four of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups, King of Cups, Queen of Wands, the Lovers. Again, they're not gonna, they're not going to essentially let you go. They're not gonna let you go. They want you to be in their life. But are they actually going to, you know, reciprocate the way that love should be? Nope. Because they're too corrupted. They're too dysfunctional for that, 